Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni has hit back at Western nations over their threats to cut ties with the country over a bill criminalizing homosexuality. Recently, U.S. President Barack Obama condemned the proposed move by Uganda's president, warning that such a move would alter U.S. relations with Uganda. Michael Balake has this report from Kampala. On Sunday, U.S. President Barack Obama publicly warned President Museveni over the plan to enact a bill that would sentence gay people to life imprisonment, warning that such discrimination could harm its relationship with the United States. President Museveni has responded by saying he will not allow anyone to lecture Uganda on issues like homosexuality. Everybody is lecturing us. You should do this, you should do that, you should do that. But this is my house. I know how to run my house. How can you find a married man and you lecture him how to run his house? That shows what we call in Swahili, Darao. Darao, contempt. It's contempt. You cannot see a mature man with a bald head, you see. And you give me a lecture on how to run my house. Sure, I know how to run my house. Under the proposed legislation, those convicted of homosexual acts in the East African country could face life imprisonment. The law would also make it a crime not to report gay people. Uganda's economy is largely financed by donor aid. Canada and Norway have also threatened to cut ties with Uganda over the proposed law on homosexuality. About 95% of Ugandans are in support of the tough legislation. Homosexuality is not good in Uganda here because for us we follow God's, God's orders whereby God told us to produce and increase the, have his people in the world. So if we do homosexuality we can't, we can't increase more people, we can't create people. For us as Africans we don't believe in homosexuality and I think as an African, he should take his stand and take what the people in Africa stand for, which is non-homosexuality. A month ago, President Museveni refused to approve the controversial bill after it had been passed by Parliament. But he recently bowed down to public pressure promising to sign the anti-gay bill into law. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala, Uganda.